<clears throat> Greetings and salutations, everybody. Uh, welcome to a special entry here, as uh, this is not a horror title or one which was borderline forgotten from like the 80s or 70s or 90s even, but one which has actually uh, gained some popularity recently, which is for the 1989 James Cameron film The Abyss, specifically the special edition and the 4K Blu-ray, which was just released, and this stars Ed Harris, <clears throat> Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, and Michael Biehn. The synopsis for this film is as follows. A civilian diving team is enlisted to search for a lost nuclear submarine and faces danger while encountering an alien aquatic species. So, this is a special entry because I've literally waited 14 years for the Blu-ray to come out. Um, initially released in theaters, um, this film was 2 hours and 20 minutes, and it was kind of considered a long film at the time and was received to some very mixed reactions. Now later, um, about uh, four or five years later, it was released as a special edition laser disc, which included roughly 30 minutes of additional footage, um, including not just additional scenes and longer cuts, but um, an entire subplot that was cut for the sake of time, so they wouldn't take up as much theater time, they could fit in more showings and so forth. Now for a while, that special edition was only available on the Laserdisc, um, and was like an expensive collector's item. Um, <clears throat> back in the, you know, I believe it was like 93, 94 when that came out, it was roughly $100 back then, um, translating to about $200 in 2024 money. So that extended edition was eventually made available in other formats, such as VHS and later DVD. But when HD, DVD, and Blu-ray came around, this film didn't hit either format. And so I got my first Blu-ray player in uh, 2009 in the form of a PlayStation 3, having already sold off my old laser discs in the day, you know, in favor of uh, replacing them with DVDs. I'd begun trading in some DVDs to upgrade them to Blu-rays along the way. And this was a title that I'd gotten rid of thinking it would be available any day. But it wasn't for 14 years. So I waited and I saw many, you know, coming soon announcements over the years. It was always right around the corner or by the end of the year or once Avatar was well underway and there was time to remaster it. 14 years until it finally came out as a 4K remaster. So this had hit streaming first back in December and you know I wanted to wait a few months to get my hands on this physical copy um, so I could add it to my collection and this past week it was released and Amazon had some stocking and fulfillment issues but luckily I had shopped local and I was able to get my hands on this copy through Viper Video and um, I got it the afternoon of its release and I was able to sit down and finally check it out. So first off revisiting this film was great. Um, for the un uninitiated you know we get this tense claustrophobic kind of story of these uh, deep sea oil drillers who are working on a submersible rig who are re recruited to go on this rescue mission for a downed uh, nuclear submarine. Tensions definitely flare as their crew has to kind of mix with this team of Navy SEALs who have a different way of working um, than this close-knit team does who's uh, spent, you know, they usually spend weeks or months at the bottom of the ocean together kind of, uh, you know, building that relationship. And along with the detentions are flaring up um, top because um, the U.S. and Russia are kind of butting heads over this incident since it was involving a nuclear submarine. And if that wasn't enough, while on this rescue mission, they encounter some strange lights and beings, almost like little flying saucers or UFOs, but underwater. Um, and one of the SEALs is kind of dealing with a psychotic break that's slowly coming about by this compression sickness that he's experiencing being that low. Um, so that situation goes from kind of uncomfortable and confrontational to downright dangerous as there's a threat of a nuclear detonation in an attempt to destroy these beings, which our antagonist, this Navy SEAL, sees as a threat. Now the stakes of what's happening on the surface is what was cut largely from the theatrical cut. Um, downplaying or cutting out like the brink of World War III uh, happening up top and not going into anywhere near as much detail about what's happening with these creatures underwater and what their motives are. And so by the time in that theatrical version that you get to that third act, it feels like it comes out of nowhere and that the ending's a bit rushed. However, in the special edition with that extra 30 minutes we get much more detail on both you know while the third act does still take that large turn from this rescue and disaster survival to preventing world destruction on the eve of world war three it does flow much better with that overall arc of the story being laid out much better but all in all though it was a long journey by you know 1989 standards and <clears throat> this day and age of films frequently being well over two hours especially big epic films like Endgame or Avatar or Dune or even like the Snyder Cut of uh, Justice League, 
or even Boyhood back in the day had these really long run times. This one is more than worth sticking around and sitting through. Um, after all, you know, when you take away the end credits, it really only clocks in at about two hours and 40 minutes. So needless to say, um, though this set does come with both the theatrical and the special edition, I only really recommend the special edition on this. Um, and as for the set itself, simply put, it's just amazing. The only frame of reference I had previously was a Laserdisc and the DVD, both being shown on a standard CRT television at the time. So by comparison, the Blu-ray would have been enough of a leap, especially since it was completely remastered. But I specifically got to view this one in 4K you know, on a 4K Blu-ray player rather than it being upscaled on like some sort of a streaming platform. I've really never seen this film look any better than this. Um, and they brought out and tweaked every single shot, making this look like it was a film that could have been shot any time within the past five years. Even the visual effects are top-notch. You know, we're seeing detail, which was lost previously and shows just how far ahead of, the t of their time they were in 1989. In fact, there are only maybe a handful of bits here and there which might look a little bit dated, usually due to, like, movements and how they had to shoot everything. But also along in this set, is a behind the scenes of making of the abyss this documentary which to this day is one of the best documentaries i've ever seen uh, one of the best uh, special features worth checking out the uh, technical aspects of this production and everything that they had to do the, to bring this to the screen was not just amazing but was rough for them to even pull off in any way they were literally inventing new technology similar to what cameron later had to do with the uh, avatar films and hearing stories from people who worked on the film really puts into perspective what it took to be able to create create a film like this and outside of those new technologies being developed um, and having those practical limitations and um, extraordinary lengths they needed to go through um, for the filmmaking aspects on that technical level, we had this crazy amount of stress that the actors had to go through, being put in some really horrible situations to try to get these shots and put this film together. Some of these actors just refused to even speak about the film nowadays, and one of them didn't even partake in the behind the scenes. She wanted nothing to do with it. Um, but no matter what, you know, all in all between the film itself and the special features and especially this remastering process that was used in this Blu-ray, this film is more than worth, you know, scooping up on Blu-ray, you know, get it on physical media or at least queuing it up on streaming if you're able to find the extended cut on there. I see a lot of the times they have the theatrical cut, but specifically queuing up that extended cut, it's uh, definitely more than worth checking out. And speaking of checking out, thanks for checking out this uh, latest little entry here for The Abyss, the special edition, which at the time of this video is available on disc, as well as paid rental on Vudu or Fandango, which I highly recommend seeing that extended edition, um, especially on disc. But the theatrical edition is also available on other services like Hulu and Paramount Plus and Showtime. So you just make sure when you go to see it, if it's the two hour and 20 minute version, that's a theatrical. If it's a two hour and 51 minute version, that's a special edition one. That's the one that I highly recommend. Anyways, that's all I have for this entry here. Thanks for sticking around to the end, and be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications for when I put up new content, and I will see you in the next one.